Big news today, Steve Nash gone. Ime Adoka, rumors, early reports that he looks to be the next like head coach. like he's the guy. Seems like yep. it. Not official, yep. but it seems like we're headed that way. Brew, this team is a abject disaster. <laughs> and, hold on, can I jump in? Yeah, I'm just freestyling. Bro, we're leading the win. Bro, <laughs> we're not trying to lead any witness. In fact, I'm going to d- offer you. We haven't done this. Oh, wow, it's, it's back. It's back. Oh, i oh. in studio. No, the, and go, olive go ahead. I'm going to shut I'm it down. I'm going to offer go you ahead. an olive branch. Because I am, I'm, I'm going to be honest. And I, this, this is, and you're going to know this is honest. Before the year, Brew was conflicted, as I was. With the, we had the team that was like our, oh, I want to pick them to win the East. And then you have sitting right there the Bucks, And because yeah. for me, it was the Sixers and Bucks for you and the Nets and the Bucks. We were both conflicted. Came down to the last minute. Why didn't you guys just take the Bucks? I the, just took the Bucks. You, you just took the Bucks but because I. <laughs> did you? Know, the, I don't hold yeah, on. I don't Wait, remember that. Let's say you're taking Yon. I'm offering you an olive you're branch. Making a pick. Okay? Get the olive branch. So, but now. You have a real reason right. to say I'm out on the Nets. They have fired their coach. It is, you know, a, a situation that the facts on the ground have changed. So now that you have the chance to abandon Just the Nets, okay, admit on. the whole thing's been a failure, admit you've been wrong about them every year, it's the most embarrassing part of your career, <laughs> I'm giving you that Just chance. Well, uh, here's the deal. I reject your olive branch. Here's why. Done that. I reject it because it's not an olive branch. It I is. don't need the olive branch. I'm in the catbird seat. <laughs> what? Wow. I'm in the catbird seat word. because I have a legitimate reason. I, whether he offers an olive branch or not, I have a legitimate. I have a legitimate reason to jump seat? off of the net. Are you okay. doing it? I do. I, I'm just saying, don't give me that olive branch because as soon as I say bucks. Uh-huh. You're going to say, you know what? I'm going Bucks to no, the An olive branch for an Rivers olive branch. Been fired. You're going to see. Doc Rivers gets fired. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Oh, the other way That's out. That's what's going to happen. But see, I reject it. It would be easy for me to go Bucks. The yeah, Bucks look been, great. Yeah. They got the best player in the that, world. And you're right. For you to go Cavs. I really was thinking Knicks. about going Bucks. I Anyone was thinking a lot more the Bucks than Nick was. Yeah. Nick was in on Philly for some reason. I was thinking Bucks, but I, you know what? I stuck with the Nets. You're going to do it again? I stuck with the Nets. Ooh, they're terrible. When they had the season opening debacle against New Orleans. I stuck with the Nets through the four straight losses. I stuck with the Nets through your mocking of me yeah. and criticizing me and them. And you know what? Because I, I, unlike many people on this show, I really believe in take integrity. Oh my God, he's wow. not. A I really guy. believe in take I integrity. I branch yeah, and takes nice. a shot. That seemed like wow. No, I, I, I don't. Ch- it wasn't a legit ch- olive branch because I'm in the catbird seat. Okay, all right, that's I fine. Still, he's sticking with the Nets. He's in the catbird. He's, seat. Seat. <laughs> he's sticking with the Nets from the catbird seat. Also during the break, I someone's mean, gonna they, have to they explain are the catbird seat. I don't. They are a disaster, but I will not jump. Okay, so you jumping off Philly if they fire Doc Rivers? No, I think it's probably an upgrade. Uh, I have a real question. <laughs> I think for this you, is bro. an upgrade. I have too. a real question for you, bro. You said before the year, defense is about want to, and Kyrie's got motivated to prove. I'm not trying to laugh. I just th- thinking back on the Kyrie oh. commentary. Kyrie's this is the year. Kyrie's not going to call any waves, try to get a contract. The guy's never going to get a long term contract in this league ever again. Set that aside. And Ben Simmons is something to prove. And Katie's great. Now Katie is great. But do you not now have evidence that this team can't defend? That it's not about want to, that it's about inability. No. This is about like it, it's it, a, to defend in the NBA. Obviously, the players have to want to, but you need a coach that emphasizes it. But then why Every did you think they would do it when day. Nash was still the coach? Well, they were 19th, I believe, in defense last year. That's not good. But it's not horrible. But Kyrie wasn't there. If That's you're why 19th, they were good at if better. you're 19th, and you can get stops when necessary. Which teams can right, do? But don't you think one of the then reasons it could work. they were they were not egregious at defense? Well, they last didn't have Kyrie, Kyrie wasn't but there. they also didn't have Ben Simmons, who's been one of the best defenders in the league the last five years. Well, okay? Except for the last real, I mean, and the last, they didn't have Royce year. O'Neal, who was a very good defender in Utah. We talk more about Royce, Royce O'Neal. O'Neal, on this show. O'Neal you know, just because you O'Neal's guys didn't friends. stay up and watch the <laughs> no, Jazz, give me a break. Or, because it was West Coast, I stayed up and watched the Jazz. Royce O'Neal can defend on the wing. 
Okay. All right? So my point is this. If Udoka comes in and emphasizes defense, you saw the block from Durant. I know it's just one play. The block but it shows Durant, effort. He plays hard. He plays hard. Durant Kyrie is, is playing hard. Picks terrible okay? friends. Kyrie. And now all I'm saying is, look, the offense under Nash was good. The first year he coached, they were the top offense in the league. Now they had James Harden. A good James Harden. They don't have that. That team. This you is got the Kevin with Durant the and Hold Kyrie. Up. Folks, I'm not saying they're awesome. All I'm saying is I believe in take integrity. Okay. I think Ime Udoka no, is a massive, massive maybe. upgrade over – not maybe, massive upgrade over Steve Nash. No, I think – listen, I think you've I been think an upgrade ben over Steve I think Ben Simmons will improve. So, but, okay, so I'm, I'm okay, well, some I, of these, I believe in take some integrity. Some of these takes, Wilds, Nick's are – setting it up on. to jump off the six. No, I'm not. In, in I'm not. We're going to – listen, some of these takes here are like they're, they're – they're idiot proof to a degree. Like, person X is an upgrade over Steve Nash. Of course. It's the same thing if they did what they did in the great movie Eddie with the Knicks, where they picked someone out of the crowd to coach the team. And Whoopi Goldberg got great the job. Movie? That Ben that's Simmons, not, not ben Simmons will movie? improve. Well, he's not going to get worse. Here's what I'm confident about. We're you not don't gonna be think like, he's going to improve. No, I'm, you watched him I'm in Philly? I'm saying it's impossible. Okay, that pl- the player in Philly, I believe, is gone. You think that he's, he'll never he's what, have that what, intensity? I, he didn't have that. I think it makes me sad, but I think Ben Simmons is not. I, when he, he was saying it was a mental health thing, mm-hmm. that's why he couldn't play with the Sixers, I believe him. And I don't think he's you don't think he'll ever I don't think I don't think it's going to be a short term, like, okay, this is the week he turns it on. And I also, Wild, I also think it is, if we were to say a week ago, or not a week ago, but a few days ago, hey, Udoka's going to go coach a team, we'd be like, wow. That's going to be courting, you know, a fair amount of controversy. Mm-hmm. Is it not insane to you that the Nets, who allegedly, remember your guy Sean Marks, was like, hey, one of the reasons they picked us was our culture. And they are now in the midst of a massive controversy and now courting another one. I think it's bizarre. I, I, I think Sean Marks' tenure, all the decisions that he's made post-Kenny Atkinson firing, has been absolutely bizarre. And I have no idea why Joe Sy has kept Sean Marks, or, or no, I don't want to be mean to Sean Marks. If I'm Joe Sy, I'm looking at Sean Marks, as I know, but I'm looking at Sean Marks' resume, saying, who I inherited from the Prokhorov era, and saying, right. are we better off than the first day I bought the team? I would say no. 